last month I fell into a bit of a funk and one of the ways that I just kept going was simply maintaining my routines. Most days when I wake up, I like to open my curtains, wash my face and put on sunscreen and then make up my bed. It's very simple, but these things really help me to not lose myself in the funk. Even though I love the fall and winter season, I almost always fall into a bit of a seasonal depression moment. I think it happens to the best of us. It is what it is, there's less sun and we're indoors more, so it kind of makes sense. I can't rave on more about how having simple routines or just a routine will change your life because it makes you more consistent and it also makes you more disciplined. I'm not one to preach at anybody, but I highly suggest implementing a routine or routines into your daily life. Trust me. Another thing that kept me afloat was keeping up with my hobbies. Bread making is definitely a new hobby for me, but I have been enjoying it so much. And I will say every time that I would feed my starter and start the process of making a loaf or making bagels or cookies, I would just get really happy. So another thing that I suggest is to have some hobbies that make you smile, that make you feel good, that are cathartic, and that you can really lean into when you are feeling down. I'm in my closet right now. Uh, right now they're doing construction on the deck or there's a deck being built right now and it is very loud. So I'm in my closet right now. Um, this is not a bad place to film. So I have said that I'm going to be talking about routines and you know transforming my life which is still happening. Still happening. Um, December is coming up really quickly. It is November 28th right now as far as the routines go i've decided to kind of start an etsy shop and don't ask me what sparked this idea it just kind of happened one day and i was like i'm gonna start an etsy shop about routines and just planning and just having everything laid out for you because that is the best way that i know how to think and get things done and be organized is to just have have things written down and have things just fleshed out but I decided to start an Etsy shop around that and talk about it here on YouTube because you guys are going to be following my Etsy shop journey. I have kind of been going back and forth of if I'm going to make a Patreon about it so that like there can be exclusive content as well. But for now, I'm just going to do it here on YouTube. I've been working on this digital planner all year, so that was something that I was going to do anyway and Initially, my best friend just told me like, hey, you think you could make a digital planner? And I was like, yeah, I think I can. I have an iPad Pro already and I think I can do that. <sighs> At first, it was a very daunting task because I've seen people make planners on the iPad, but it's not as user friendly as people make it seem. In fact, I think it takes way longer. I ended up using my iPad and my laptop to kind of do it obviously with my laptop my hand would start hurting because I was using the trackpad and 
<clears throat> God, using the trackpad is so bad for your your joints. And ever since I got my desktop, I swear, like, life has changed. Life has changed. I don't have any more carpal tunnel pain. No, none of the wrist pain right here. Like, it's it's been a lifesaver having, like, a real desktop mouse. And granted, I do have, um, what is that thing called? The Apple mouse? The Apple mouse? I don't know what it's called. At. The magic mouse? Something like that. I do have that, but it's not ergonomically ergonomically correct it just doesn't feel right so with a regular mouse and it's a gaming mouse actually I um, use that and when I tell you I have been pumping out so many like digital download things that I've made in Canva digital download things just routines and to-do lists and all that but I've been pumping all of that out um, and it's so much easier to do it on a desktop so yeah like I've been just like okay and then I was like let me get back to this digital planner now I'm like doing it it takes me like 10 minutes to if I mess something up to fix it whereas if I had my laptop and my iPad to do that it would have taken me 30 to 45 minutes unfortunately it is like almost December and planners should be out already but I think I can kind of take advantage of promoting this planner um, by saying like did your planner sell out try this digital one you know that could do do it like that because a lot of the times when you buy your next year's planner they're already sold out by now like I definitely did not jump on like an actual planner and buy it yet obviously digital planners can be bought any time of year <laughs> but I think I can capitalize with the marketing with the forgot to get your planner for the new year type deal and just yeah I don't know I'm, I'm thinking about it another reason why I've decided to kind of like go digital is because my first Etsy shop like I just don't think people are that interested and I'm okay with accepting that <laughs> um, it was doing really well for a while but then I've just noticed that it's been so slow I know that there is inflation on everything and I even had to raise my prices because um, I wasn't really making anything back it can be really expensive to do shipping so I will say if you are going to open an Etsy shop or you're thinking about it and you want to sell a physical product definitely um, sell a product that you can charge like 15 I don't know, say ten dollars or more on definitely ten dollars or more because you're not gonna make anything back unfortunately if it's anything smaller priced unless it's a digital product you don't lose anything when you make a digital product like you don't have to ship anything out you don't have to buy shipping products you can just go on about your day I haven't decided if I'm gonna close the shop yet I may just rebrand and do art prints like I've always wanted instead of focusing on stickers and just selling that at a decent price point so that I can actually make something back. Etsy does have a lot of fees so yeah keep that in mind. I'm not gonna share my Etsy shop on here and part of that is because if I do share it and people look at it um, it messes up my conversion rates and I know that's kind of like dang but I will show you like what some of the things that I have been working on. I'll definitely show you the digital planner um, and if you do see it, just don't share it in the comments. Um, but I'll share the digital planner with you. I really just want to keep things exclusively here. And obviously the algorithm likes that as well. The YouTube algorithm likes that as well. So we got to appease the algorithms, you know. It is what it is. So my friend who asked me to do this digital planner... Um, she wanted me to do like a regular planner and then a fitness planner So one of the things that I can do is just build off of this planner and change the color and all that good stuff and Don't have to go in and change the dates I would like to keep the layout the same unless I'm making a whole different type of planner Which I probably will going forward I don't want my shop to be too focused on like a bunch of planners I want to have maybe three or four options that you can choose from and then um, the rest I want to be printables and um, something that you can include in your good notes routine type deal routine type things <laughs> so in this digital planner I have my weeklies I have monthly obviously 
and then the daily so I'll have to add the daily the rest of the dailies in um, a separate program like Keynote because Canva only allows 300 pages I believe I'm not completely sure exactly how many but I'm nowhere close to 300 right now but if I add every single day it'll be way way over so I'll have to add in the extra pages in a different program so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that I think you can just duplicate them in Keynote but I'll just have to see again I'm learning kind of on the job I can't wait to like actually get it to where I'm hyperlinking things because once I like learn how to do this then I'm never gonna stop hi um don't mind the face I just woke up I realized while editing that I did not have an outro so I definitely wanted to include that I'm trying to touch all bases with this um I did realize like halfway through editing that this was kind of filmed a little vlog style and I not intentionally doing that like I don't know how people feel about vlogs um I've always heard from like the social media experts that people don't care about vlogs so don't post them and post something more informative um, so I definitely tried to include some like information like earlier in the video getting out of a funk I know halfway through the video I started talking about Etsy stuff and my digital planner um, but I really just wanted to show and share behind the scenes next time I do that I will try to screen record versus trying to um, record on my camera because I know when you're trying to record a screen it gets fuzzy but um, I'll keep that in mind next time um, as for the digital planner, uh, just a little update, I have to download or buy a program to duplicate the pages. So I'm just debating if it would be worth it to just go ahead and get, um, a, is it Adobe? Adobe InDesign. I know most people are familiar with like Photoshop or Adobe Premiere, but like InDesign is like, I consider it like a magazine creator, a layout designer. It's kind of like Keynote but Adobe. So I have to figure out if I'm going to just buy the Adobe program or do a free trial, put everything together, revamp it into a fitness planner over the 14 days. Like there's a lot going on. So I'll see what I'm going to do. I'll probably just do the Adobe free trial for now, but have different versions and combine everything all at once. So I definitely want the planner to go out before the new year and it will is as long as I stay on top of things but um yeah so I hope this was informative but let me know if you do like vlog style or like these videos because I know some people like background noise and um aren't really watching the videos and I don't mind having that vibe. I'm going to close the video out here and I will see you all in the next one. Probably going to touch on the whole trans life transforming thing because things that have absolutely changed it's kind of wild if you like this video like this video if you want to see more content like this hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye